Right there, sweet peanut. Oh yeah. You beat me to it? So I, I'm playing with the camera here. Mm. Mm. Get it in there, no? <laughs> Good afternoon everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in extremely hot Paramaribo, Suriname, South America. I'm here with Jan from Johnny Tours and today we're headed to an Indonesian village right outside of the capital and this place is basically like 95% of the village are Javanese people. So people who came from the island of Java about 130 years ago and obviously they stayed, they've you know grown families here and the food here of Javanese food is so insanely good your mouth will water when you see it it's like so delicious they got rice they have a lot of peanut stuff they have uh, you know satay they have so many delicious things and what are we gonna do here we're gonna have a nice food after that we're gonna do the, the, the wood market okay wood market yes, awesome and uh, pottery and Look pottery up. yes okay so you could do all that so you can go eat pottery and wood I need to buy some stuff and I'm really hungry let's go inside the village is called coffee jumbo as well because uh, there was a slave, coffee, and he ran away from the plantations in Paramaribo and he jumped, coffee jumbo, jumped over a, a small river and then he escaped to what? the interior. That's crazy. Yeah, so it's called coffee jumbo. And this is Lelidorp. Basically, it's, uh, it's on the main street, one of the main streets here in Paramaribo, making your way down to the international airport. Uh, as you can see, lots of different buildings on the main strip, supermarkets, got uh, what is it? Gas stations, banks, big mix, also food stalls and food halls. But then here to the left, we're gonna go and look for the pottery market. It's a uh, it's an old road where they uh, mined the uh, bauxite, and well, actually, it's an American road. Oh yeah, <laughs> the Americans built this road. I mean, really bad road. Plantation is the, the, the fabric is gone now. Yeah, no, it's 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 like horrible road. Another bad road, lots of potholes, lots of mud holes. Oh my god, check this out. This is a native village well, near Lady Dorp actually. There's a pot bakery here, so we're gonna explore if somebody's here Sunday, so check it out. Alright, let's do this. Pottery. Last time I saw somebody doing pottery I was in Rwanda. Oh cool stuff man. Hey, how you doing? You make these huge vases? Yes. Wow. How much does one of these cost? Two thousand certain dollar divided by eight, whatever that is. It's like three hundred, four hundred dollars. Two hundred. They're very nice. And what are you doing here? So the way the pottery works here is he starts off with these huge bags of bark. He brings the bark over here. He burns the bark. Once he's done burning the bark, he moves it into this like this wood bucket. And then there he like pounds it and makes it into powder. Once he turns it into powder, then he mixes it with clay. And as you can see, he's mixing it with clay, mixing it with clay, and then he moves it over here to the side. And then he shapes it to make, you know, whatever he wants to make. Cups, bases, mugs. He has so Statue. many different things. What else? Statue. Statues too? Wow, okay, statues. All your products come out black, right? Different colors, okay, because yeah. these are mostly black what I'm seeing here. So when you bake it, it changes to a different color. So this is natural. When, once he's done, it's all black. You can see these huge vases. And these that he has here are all ordered already. So somebody already ordered them, placed an order with him, and that's why he's making them. So he doesn't really have too many things for sale here, like two different things, but that's basically it right now. And then next door, we actually have his father's store, and he has some wood stuff. Let's go see that. So 190 US for this like, it's like a Cayman, right? Cayman, but it's like a seat. You could sit on it, but you could also put like a big piece of glass on top. Maybe it's not straight enough for that. It's very nice, but I think I'm gonna have to pass for now. I like this one too. This is like what the, uh, what is this? A Jaguar. That is the Yeah, Tiger. 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 Yes. Very nice. So he does all the wood over here. So you have a Tiger bench and you have some more pottery here. Wow, this is nice. But I like the the came in school because he already like drew on it, so he made like some cool designs. Yeah. Pretty sick. I love crafts. I mean, I'm all about crafts. I can buy crafts all day. I should open a crafts market in Miami. Thank you. Bye. Take care. I love the stuff here, man. Okay, David. Now we're gonna do some woodwork. We're gonna see some woodwork. So let's go. 
So is it like a craft market or yeah, is it just a, like... Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a, a guy with one arm. Okay. And he still crafts the, the wood. With one arm, he's crafting the wood. Yeah, so carving arm. out the wood. Yeah. Wow. That's that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> like I... See him. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Oh my God. This this road is intense. If you guys don't know, the roads here in Suriname aren't the best, but it's an adventure every single time. Luckily, we're in a four, four by four. Just kidding. We're in a two by... <laughs> <laughs> a two wheel drive. We'll make it. Made it to the wood market. Hello, hello. What's up, guys? We're inside the wood shop right now. As you can see, they have a few different things here in terms of souvenirs, a paddle, some plates, cups. They got like boats. They have even like small like, caiman and also some armadillo. Very nice. I like the armadillo. A lot of detail here, really nice. Dude, you put a lot of work into this. And what does this cost, 115? So that's like, uh, that's like less than a, yeah, 15, 14 US, pretty good deal. And then in the back, you can see the guy, he's sanding all the wood down, doing a lot of sanding on these huge slabs of wood. And basically he sands it and they bring it over here. And then these guys carve it into what you see right here. And yeah, let's see, what do I buy, huh? What should I buy? What do you think? The paddle looks cool, but I think I'm gonna have a problem with another paddle. <laughs> Maybe a small thing in the plane. I don't know. Yeah, and the paddle's dope though. This one's dope. Of the craft that you could buy there, it's basically, you know, a big mix. They also have some chairs, some like foldable chairs so you can fold them. The only problem for me is that, you know, some of that stuff, it's hard to take, especially because of the weight and then also having to go and get, you know, paperwork, especially something that big. But I highly recommend buying maybe some of the animals. They had like some turtles, snakes, uh, armadillo, what else do they have? They have an owl and they had little boats. I mean, lots of like little cool crafts. Personally, not my favorite stuff. So I'm gonna keep looking, see if I find anything else for my kids. And yeah, oh my God, the heat, the heat. I need some delicious, delicious Indo food, my man. Yeah, we're only two minutes away. You can eat then, have a nice cold drink, two maybe a papa beer. Two minutes or an amp time, we're talking about 20 minutes. No, it's maybe five. <laughs> <laughs> hey Dutch, don't think you're in, in Holland. <laughs> This is Suriname. <laughs> okay, five minutes for there. Five minutes. Here we go. Food time. Indo food. How do you say the name of this town again? The village? Leili Dorp or Kopi Dompo. Look. Leili Dorp. Oh, there it is. Leili Dorp or Kop Dompo. Lots of food vendors here. Woo! It is hot today. So the six different vendors, a lot of them have the main staples, which are the yuca, which is the you know the delicious fried yuca. They have a lot of chicken feet. They have the fried banana, which is like the best thing on the planet, especially with the peanut dressing. They also have some kidneys. They have some some sweets, some of these like pink, like juicy sweets. They have some of the soup, the soto. And they also have some more chicken, some more noodles. Sorry guys. And they have, uh, let me see what else they have. Oh, they have satay over here, satay. I think I'm gonna go with satay because I really love satay, especially with kidneys, liver right here. Oh, it looks so good. And right here we have the base of the, so of the soto, the soup. Oh, it's a nice little food alley. So it's basically like what I would consider a little food court. You have, you know, all the vendors, and you sit down on the bench, and that's it. So we're gonna start off first with some chicken satay. It looks amazing. It's like basically on a, on a barbecue, right? With a stick. They gave us some soy, some peanut dressing. You ready, my man? Yes. Let's do this. Cheers. They're nice. Oh my God. They're so tasty. Mm. Takes me right back to Asia, but you can't eat it without some of the peanut. For a little bit, right? Oh, it's tasty. Mm. So juicy and peanut dressing. I can drink it straight up. It's too good. In Thailand, I was eating this all day. Mm. The peanut dressing that they have brought here to Suriname has blown me away. Mm -hmm. Right there, sweet peanut. Oh yeah. You beat me to it? So I, I'm playing with the camera here. Mm. 
Mm. Get it in there. No? <laughs> So good. Five hours of the eat? Yes. Yeah. That's it? Mm -hmm. So 80 cents? That's a good meal. I eat three of these and be done. But a lot of chicken, yeah. Okay, so next up we moved over to the vendor right to our left and we're getting two different dishes and the drink. This drink, obviously the same one we had earlier. It has the coconut milk, the corn, right? So corn is the little balls, the little jelly balls, and it has this like pink. I think it's rosé, it tastes like it. Mmm. Mmm. Dow it. Dow it. Mmm. So refreshing. Mmm. Love the coconut. Love it. Next up we have the lumpia. So the lumpia is basically an egg roll. This one has no egg. All it has is veggies. On top they put some delicious peanut dressing. Very nice. And next up we have the pichio, which is basically boiled vegetables. I see, I think there's spinach in there. I see some sprouts. And on top of it, they drown the vegetables with the satay sauce, which is peanut sauce, and they said it's spicy. It better be spicy. Try. You know what, let's try this one first. This one looks so good, I need to dive into it. Whoa, look at that. This is, look at this. <laughs> Dude, you saw this? Just mixing it together? Have a little bit. Mm. It's amazing. Mm. Oh wow. Super sweet peanut sauce. Not spicy. For me, not spicy. Love the veg. Lots of crunch. So like moist. I'm blown away. Mm. I love it. Can I tell you? Really nice. Fresh vegetables. The peanut sauce though. That's what makes this dish. Mm. This is the best dish. It's gonna mix the peanuts throughout though because I had a lot of spots there where I take a bite and it was just like straight peanut. Oh, this is so good. Too much veg. Mmm. Just love veg. Mmm. If you love peanuts and you love vegetables, this would be the winner of dishes for you in Suriname. Oh, the best of the best. Wow, man. Can't get enough of it. Next up, we have the lumpia. I'm gonna cut it, I'm not using my hands. You're supposed to use your hands, but we're not gonna use the fork. Cut it right there. See all the veg, they got all the vegetables right there. Nice veg. So, cut it again. This time, once I'm done cutting, I'll dip right here with some of the sauce. Oh wow. Nice greens, nice fried vegetable roll. Looks amazing. There's some sprouts sticking out as you can see. Here we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that peanut dressing is more like a sweet and sour. Straight up egg roll, vegetable version. Veggie roll. Mm. I love the Indonesians love sweet. Like, Every dish has its thing, you know, very savory, but then they throw the peanut on top and this gives it a super delicious sweet flavor. Wow. I think I'm done. Wow. Cheers. Thank God it's a little bit of a breeze. I was sweating like crazy. You got the chicken sausages here, some blood sausages, and you got bear mis intestines. Uh, so basically, to end our meal, we're gonna end it here with a sausage. This is like Indonesian so style, sort of. Indonesian sort of, right? Bacon, yeah. 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 <laughs> Hopefully. All right, you tell me, my man. Give me, give me one of your favorite. Thank you. We decided to go with the chicken and mine I got it with some sauce, some nice yummy sauce. Mm. I'm gonna slowly get out of this bag. I don't wanna touch it with my hand, I just wanna eat it. Ooh, wow, this looks so good. And here we go. Oh my God. Wow, it's delicious. Dude, it's like chicken pudding. That's what it is, chicken pudding inside the wrap of the sausage. Mmm. You literally just suck it out of the sausage. 
It's that good. It's so different from other sauces I've had around the world. And with sauce, man, that's an Indo sauce, right? Mmm, yeah. a little spicy too. Mm-hmm. All right, I am good. I am so cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're the man. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So we did it. We explored the Indonesian village of Lelidorp. 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 Sorry, I can't Almost. speak Dutch. It's, it's uh -huh. really hard language for me. But yeah, so we started off by looking at some pottery that was actually like 20 minutes past the village. Saw the pottery, saw how they made it. Then we went over to the like the wood carvers, saw them, you know, basically sanding some wood, carving a little bit of a chair, and saw some of the stuff they have for sale. I didn't buy anything unfortunately, but you guys should definitely check it out. And then we came here to this like food hall. It's literally in the middle of the village. It is like six or seven vendors. Don't get here past like 1 p.m. because they start closing. It's like 1.30 right now and they're all closed. So I mean in terms of food, amazing food. My favorite thing, oh I don't know man. It was like that that boiled vegetable with the pita dressing was outstanding. I love the lumpia, I love the satay. I mean in the drink. Oh, and the sausage, was, man. The sausage. That guy's sausage is delicious. Dude, that was like almost a dessert. It's it was a like it was like sweet and like <laughs> creamy. So guys, I hope you love this video. Next time you're thinking about coming to South America, definitely put Suriname to the top of your list. There's so much to do here. Lots of delicious food, lots of activities, wildlife. Definitely look up Jenny Tours, John from Jenny Tours. And we'll see you in the next travel food adventure somewhere in the world. Give me a thumbs up, comment below. Subscribe to my channel. Peace.